Hi students, thanks for joining today on this YouTube video. We are going to be practicing a new reading lesson for the morning English class. If you are a member of my distance English class, you should have your packet and your story to follow along and mark any new vocabulary, circle any vocabulary that is new for you. This is a lesson for the sixth week of our summer distance practice. If you are not a member of my English class, no problem. Join with your notebook and your pen. Write down any vocabulary that's new for you. And of course, you should be using your mobile device to record yourself speaking the new vocabulary, listen to my pronunciation, listen to your own, and make that comparison. Let's jump into our story. This article is titled, Trump Suffers Defeat When House Opts Not to Vote on GOP Healthcare Bill. This was published by Associated Press, March 27th, 2017. So it is a little bit of an older story. However, this is still a very controversial topic in the United States culture which is why we are including this in our distance English practice. Washington, D.C. President Donald Trump and Republican leaders were disappointed on Friday when it was decided to not vote on an important health care bill. The bill was supposed to be voted on by lawmakers in the House of Representatives on Friday. The bill would have removed Obamacare, the controversial health care plan which was created under President Barack Obama. The bill was not put to a vote once it became clear that it would not pass. Trump demanded a vote on the bill. It was a huge loss for the new president. He had demanded House Republicans vote on the legislation. He even threatened to leave Obamacare in place and move on to other issues if the vote failed. Obamacare, or the Affordable Care Act, is disliked by most Republican lawmakers. Trump's bill was meant to replace Obamacare. However, it was withdrawn minutes before the vote was about to happen. The president's demand failed. Instead, Republican lawmakers made it clear that they answer to their own voters, not to the president. Republican lawmakers have spent seven years trying to get rid of President Barack Obama's health care law. Friday was their chance at doing just that. However, they were unable to agree that the new proposed law was an improvement. Before we continue below, let's read through these definitions on the right. Health insurance. People buy health insurance plans. This is how most people pay for health care. It keeps people from having to pay the full cost of things like going to the doctor or getting surgery, which can be very expensive. Obamacare refers to the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, a controversial health care law signed by President Barack Obama in 2010. It expanded coverage for low-income families and made sure sick people could still get insurance. Medicare, a health insurance plan for all people over the age of 65. It is paid for by the government. Some people buy private plans as a supplement. Medicaid, a government program similar to Medicare, but for low-income people of any age. It helps people who can't afford insurance. Continuing on the right, many Republicans were against the bill. Republican Representative Rodney Frelinghuysen of New Jersey leads a major House committee. He said the bill would raise costs unacceptably on the people who he represents. Lawmaker Barbara Comstock of Virginia, who is a key moderate Republican, and Republican lawmaker David Joyce of Ohio also announced they would vote no on Trump's bill. 
In fact, of that evidence, and despite pleas from White House officials and House Speaker Paul Ryan that Friday was the day to vote, the bill was pulled. Trump's bill would have replaced Obamacare. If it did pass, the new health care bill would have taken away an unpopular rule under Obama's plan. Under that plan, everyone is required to have health insurance. People who do not get health insurance may have to pay a fine. Insurance is needed in the United States to pay for doctor's visits and medicine, both of which are almost always far too expensive to pay for out of pocket. If someone does not have insurance and gets sick or gets injured, hospitals have to treat them, but they will face a huge amount of debt. Instead of paying a hospital or doctor, many people pay an insurance company, which then covers health care expenses when someone gets sick or gets injured. The new bill also would have removed the tax credit help for people who did buy health insurance. With less money needed for taxes, the people would have more money to buy insurance. Under the bill sponsored by Trump, this would change. People would get tax credits for insurance based on their age, not based on income, like Obama's. The tax increases that Obama put on higher earning people and healthcare companies would have been removed. The bill would have ended Obama's Medicaid, which gave more low-income people government insurance under Medicaid. It also lowered future national spending on the program. It also would let states force work provisions on some of the 70 million people who are on Medicaid. 24 million people would have lost their insurance. The Congressional Budget Office does research and is not associated with either Republicans or Democrats. The office said the Republican bill would have resulted in 24 million additional uninsured people in 10 years. It also said the new plan could also lead to higher costs for many lower income people and people just under age 65. At age 65, people can sign up for Medicare. Much like Medicaid, it is a type of insurance the government provides. However, it is for seniors instead of low income people. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you learn? As always, take that new vocabulary, put it into a sentence, post your sentences in the comments underneath of the video so that I can give you some feedback about your new sentence. Until next time, students. Bye.